Hey Flosstube, it's Hoosier Apple here from Massachusetts again. It is kind of a dreary day, but the leaves are starting to turn most beautiful colors. I'm here for a quick update. I know I did a video last week, but in an effort to keep my videos a little shorter, I think I'm going to do more frequent updates because then I won't forget what I've done. So I'm going to start off with my Patriots Helmets project. It's by Boston Needleworks. And as a side note, the Patriots are having a perfect season. Yay! Hopefully they can continue all the way through the season and go to the Super Bowl again. And um, I'm going to show you my progress. I left it in the queue snap. I apologize. But here's where we are now. Um, I think I just had this here. Oh, let me move. Move my needle minder. There we go. I had this done here. And so I have finished on over to here. I'm going to kind of try to do the border and then kind of fill in the middle. That tends to be a quirk of mine. I like to do the borders and then fill in when possible. Not always an option, but I like to do it. So this is Patriots. And it is being done on my notes. Um, pole stitches, 28 count, Brittany Lugana cracked ice. And it's a wonderful fabric to use. I love the pole stitches fabric. Alrighty, moving on. I have my Henry VIII project. Uh, the Tudor Sal for all y'all out there doing the Tudor Sal. This is by uh, Both E Threads. And I'm doing it on Color and Cotton's Jovelin Alabaster 32 count. This is what the pattern looks like. It's Henry VIII, his wives, and the children and all the titles. And I'm loving this project, loving it. Interesting fact about the Both E Threads. I've never done a pattern like this. It, the pattern, there's two copies. There's one copy with all the symbols to fill in, um, do all your stitching. The second copy doesn't show the symbols, but shows all the outlining separately. And I actually, I, I actually kind of like that. I'll be excited to try that once I get all the stitching done. And I did some more work on her, her, him, it. And this is where I'm at. I'm going to try to get all the leaves and the vining and the Tudor roses done uh, prior to filling in all of all the people, all the Tudor people. And let's see, the next one I worked on was, which I hadn't worked on last time, so I didn't show it to you, was World's Postage Stamp. Um, there are a few ladies doing this, including Sammy J. Stitches, um, and I believe Len M. is doing this as well. So it is by um, Soda Stitch, and I am doing this on 28 Count Summer Sky Mystery Fabric. I don't know who made it. So this, I feel, what I did was is I had the entire frame done already, so I filled in New York. So here's, in case you had forgotten, here's the whole frame, but I had done all the, the framework, and then I filled in New York. Now, the problem I have with New York is, I don't know if you can tell, this is a sailboat right here. I may have to do some backstitching around the sails so it actually stands out. But it's turning out pretty nice. Um, I'm loving working on it. And I want to try to get some more time. Give it a little more stitchy love. Um, up next, I have Halloween Sampler. It's the one I started. It was my new start in my last video. And it's on Picture This Plus, 28 Count Lugana in Mirage. And this is what it looks like. It's by um, Cottage Garden. And I haven't done one with a lot of words in it, so I'm actually enjoying this one. And show you where I'm at. I didn't have, I didn't do a lot more than you lost salt last time. The only thing I added is, and honestly, and I worked on it yesterday a little bit, was the beginning of the D. That's going to be Dracula right here. And it's a fun stitch. I Where did I pick that pattern up at? I think I picked it up at um, Rolled in Stitches. Little Tin Mass. It's a great little l and um, The next one I've worked on is um, Stitch on Me's Drowloween Daily Mystery Cell. Obviously Halloween themed. I am up current through day 11. Uh, day 12 doesn't come out until... Around noonish, a little bit after noonish, is when the new pieces come via email. So I'm going to show you the progress so far. 
see if I can get this up here, if you can see it. We've got garlic, we've got a catacomb, a bat, candelabra, a huntress bow. Um, oh, it's a black dog. Um, a yokai, which is a Japanese kind of monster. We have a toad. Um, the upside down pentagram is for a coven. Oh, witch's broom. Get down here. This is witch's broom. And this one was yesterday. It is tarot cards, ace of cups. Um, I'm not quite sure if there's like an overall theme besides Halloween. If there is, I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, but it's fun. It's a fun little daily thing that you do every day. Sometimes I stay, I've been saving it up and just doing two at a time. Um, I've been having troubles tracking what I've been working on. So what I did was I just printed out a blank calendar and every day, whatever I work on, I just write on there so that I, between videos, I know what I've worked on and that's a new thing that I've started and it's so far worked out really, really well for me. I've stitched every single day except for one, which was Wednesday. Um, I only have one more item for you, which is, I have, is a haul called haul. If you, I ordered it on Etsy, so I'd call it a haul. Have you seen these? They're adorable and they're going to be perfect for travel. Of course it has apples on it, right? Um, I don't know what this is called. I think she just called it a pouch. It's by Snickle Fritz Sews. And you open it up. And you could put orts in there. You could put your scissors in there, a couple threads to throw in a little travel bag. You know, all the little little things that you take with you when you sew, extra needles. And inside every one, she puts this, which looks like a little matchbook, and it's a free needle. And it's um, John James size 24 from Snickle Fritz Sews. So every little pouch you get, she includes a needle. So I thought this was pretty cute, you know, because I love to travel. And you always want to know, where am I going to stick those little threads? Where am I going to stick my scissors? Perfect little pouch. Snickle Fritz Sews on Etsy. And I think that that's all for my update. Um, do I have any plans? I plan to work on Autumn Quakers this week. Give it quite a bit of love. I feel like I've neglected her the past week. Are Crest Stitch Project's hymns or hers? I'm going to call it a her. And I think that that's, that's about it for me. I hope y'all are enjoying your fall, and I'll catch y'all in the next go-round.